Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Blaze Virtual Summit, Summer 2023. What a time to be aligned. As everyone is coming into the room, I want everyone to drop an emoji in the chat of how you're feeling. I know we're coming up towards the end of the day and we have one more day left. So go ahead and drop an emoji in the chat of how you're feeling and how has the summit treated you? Well, in honor of the theme for this summit, Bend But Don't Break, I will be presenting Just Start the Damn Business, Sis, on a bent but not broken road. And so we'll start our engines today with just starting your damn business and talking about the blessing and curse of perfectionism and procrastination. Since this story is based on the real timeline of the launch of my business, we're gonna start out with all facts and no cap. <laughs> Today I will tell a tale on launching a business using branding, marketing, and social media. Our first official stop is the car wash to take care of some housekeeping and clear up some things before we get down to business. So on the bottom of the screen in some of the gems that I'll be dropping today are keywords um, that I want you to drop in the chat as I am talking. So right now to get started, I want you to drop Blaze in the chat because without Blaze, I would not be here. Um, who is that girl that I am? My name is Erica Hill. I'm a CEO, mom of three, and college dropout. Here is me at a vending event that you'll hear about later in this presentation that I went to April of this year. I've dubbed myself the founding mother because we don't do founding fathers over here at Blaze. I'm a mom of three, pictured left to right, my youngest, Ali, he just was born um, in February. He just turned four a couple weeks or a couple days ago, actually. Um, my oldest, Janae, is in the middle. Um, she'll be four in August. And then Amira on the right, she'll, she's two and she'll be three in November. I'm a college dropout. This is me touring the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee Peck School of the Arts before I actually decided that that's where I was going to attend university. Now let's get into business because I know I got them pressed. So I own 24 Pressure Press On Nails um, LLC and our company is made for us and by us. We're a black women owned eco-conscious press on nails, nail care and accessories brand. Our next stop is in spring of 2021, where once upon a time in a land far, far away lived a college dropout whose business created her happily ever after. On the big broken couch that I'm sitting on right now, on March 4, 2021, I decided to drop out of art school where I was studying art and technology for five and a half years. It was a really hard decision, losing the stability of school the structure and the financial support that school provided but i always knew that i would be doing this for another company so why not start my own and i want to talk about the mary Kay miracle on march 10 2021 24 pressure press ons llc was incorporated i got my entrepreneurial journey started back in 2019 actually trying to sell Mary Kay and it was this autobiography that forced me or pushed me to start my own company because it really annoyed me that she talked about you know it being a struggle as a white woman in corporate America only making 75 cents to the white man's dollar but just like completely disregarding the fact that black men made 50 cents to the white man's dollar and black women made 25 cents to the white man's dollar at that time and so it really just pushed me to start my own track in the beauty industry and paid in full happened on april 10 2021 i 
established my business checkings and savings accounts through a credit union called Educators, which is located in southeastern Wisconsin. I'm actually based out of Milwaukee, um, but I used my COVID checks and my school refund money to fund this business back in 2021. Our next stop is the detour because I got to do a break check and unpack this baggage because over the next year, the bag definitely was not secured. And I definitely fumbled quite a few bags over the next year. May 2021 to May 2022, we spent the next year creating different kinds of content. And um, like the first one, this was an ad campaign that will soon be rolling out with um, this nail polish that we unboxed as a wholesale order. And then this was a mood board that was created for this collection with clothing that was actually purchased to match um, the nails. And um, I, like I said, I fumbled a couple of bags because then I should have spent that money that I spent on inventory on education. And I tried to kind of skirt around it with business summits that were for free. I ended up pitching a bunch of different times over the next year and didn't get anything. And finally, I think it was it was a couple of days before I got this email. It was probably May 20th of 2022. I had submitted an application for this $100,000 pitch competition through crowdfunded summit with launch boom and they told me that I made it into the top five I spent all weekend working on a pitch presentation that no one was ever going to see because the following Monday on May 23rd 2022 they sent me an email saying that they actually mixed up my email with an actual finalist and I did not in fact make it to the top five and the best they could do was give me a VIP ticket is uh, a way to convenience the inconvenience but it, it it really hurt it really really hurt um but little did I know a couple weeks later in June of 2022 I would fast forward to the future at the Blaze Virtual Summit on June 15, 2022, my life changed forever when I first entered the summit and seen Lindsay Peel and Casey Richardson's um, podcast uh, release for their digital Black Wall Street. It moved me so much because they literally used the same words, digital Black Wall Street. I said I was going to rebuild the next digital Black Wall Street. Um, in my first business plan that I had ever written for a pitch competition that I lost. <laughs> um, but it just moved me so much because it was like, how does somebody who's on the other side of the planet is using the same verbiage, verbiage is me. Um, and on day two, June 16, 2022, I took a picture in the Flick photo booth at the summit and changed my Facebook profile picture to that um, where it would stay for the next year and a half. And on day three, June 17, 2022, I made the very brave decision to get up on stage with Casey and talk to her about all of my losses, all of my failures. And she was so moved by what I said, she offered to mentor me for free. And I literally can't thank her enough because we've been connected at the hip ever since. Our next stop is in fall of 2022, where Black girls are magical. So get ready for your close up because we branded the black carpet for this premiere. I'm gonna first jump into my Slick Rick page. That is my modeling page on Facebook. October 31st, 2022, I launched my first pre-launch marketing campaign. <clears throat> and I literally made myself the main character and made myself into a movie. Um, we were inspired a lot by it, and I channeled my inner Pennywise for some of this Black Girl Magic promo. Then my magazine on November 11, 2002, 2022, um, 
I launched my business magazine, Black Leaders Increasing Net Gains, and wrote my first movie review for um, this marketing campaign. And I talked to Casey a little bit in the review about how it's scary for Black women to be the face of their brand. So I opted to be the arm and the leg in this marketing campaign. And then I showed my face on March 19, 2022 for our pre-launch film screening. I actually went to go see Black Panther and then I just photoshopped all of my <laughs> information over the movie posters from the movie theater. Um, and it was a lot of fun doing this campaign. Um, and I am looking into also starting a cinema called Betflix. So we'll see how we'll do with the competition Netflix. Our next stop is in December of 2022, where I was a vendor for the um, Blaze Virtual Summit Winter 2022. And the theme there was no longer my burden. On December 5th, we opened up the Black Buy Market for the first day. Um, we had our booth set up and it was just a lot of fun being able to provide all of these things virtually for people to kind of look at and see. On December 8th, so day four of the summit, I actually booked a podcast with She Breathes Life um, through the DM chats in the AirMeet platform. So real life connections do actually happen through this summit. I sat down with her over FaceTime a couple weeks later and we talked about our businesses and then on day five the last day of the summit i came out of nowhere on december 9th and placed 12th on the leaderboard and i won a blaze nft our next stop is winter of 2023 Marketing is my life, so I made it into a magazine and nailed every cover. I want everyone to drop bling, drop the word bling in the chat. Black leaders increasing net gain. On January 31st, 2023, we actually released the article on February 1st um, because we received the NFT late on the 31st of January, but um, our cover for January was about um, NFTs and cryptocurrency. The cover for February happened February 9, 2023. And um, this was my maternity shoot. My son was born February 2nd, which was actually the day before my birthday. He was almost a twin. And so I talked about uh, raising a trust fund baby is what I hope to have. In the future and then in March on March 14 2023 we released this um cover and the article we wrote was about a local fashion designer here in Milwaukee that designed this shirt and his brand is called Unfinished Legacy check it out check it out our next stop is April of 2023 where the Perks of being a wallflower are you get to bend like no one is watching. And the joke is on you because on April 1st, 2023, we were actually a vendor for the Sarah Ball Alice Craft Fair. And this is a picture of me standing outside of the museum. This is a picture of the Milwaukee Brewers inspired press on nails that we sold that day called the Walk in the Park. And then these are just some fun pictures of us kind of turning up after the wind down. Um, they had an open bar and a food truck. And so it was a really, really fun event. Then April 18th, 2023, I became the brand ambassadors for these three brands. I am now part of the Balloon Effect Sauce Avenue and Habits New York team. Be on the lookout for um, collaborations in the future with these clothing brands and our press on nails. And then the Brady Bunch on April 30th, 2023, I submitted our application for the Bring Your Business to Brady Street here in Milwaukee. It is a sidewalk sale that Bandit MKE, which is a vintage thrift store, 
um, is hosting and they picked a whole bunch of different local businesses to come vend outside of their storefront all summer and fall. And so check us out in September on September 2nd, 2023 from 12 to 6 p.m. 1224 East Brady Street, Milwaukee, if you can. Our next stop is May of 2023. And I want you to show me your network, your net worth, and I'll show you how I virtually networked all month long. So our first event was with Blaze and the Literacy Lab on May 11th, 2023. I want everyone to drop in the chat backbone because we are the backbone as Black women. I got some really good advice um, from Hannah who directed the backbone and um, the film was phenomenal. It was about being a black woman in the University of South Carolina. It was this amazing film and she did a wonderful job um, giving me some advice. On May 13th, 2023, we attended the Small Business Day Milwaukee event. I need everyone to drop launch in the chat. It was the largest virtual startup launch event in Milwaukee. We had so much fun. I got a new business plan template. They gave us access to building a free website. Um, it was a lovely, lovely event if you were just starting your business. Then on May 16, 2023, we attended the Testimonial Tuesday of the Purpose of Pajamas hosted by Brains and Beauty Organization. Um, I actually met them in March of this year at the Blazes, The Roads Less Travel, the conversation about entrepreneurship. And I want everyone to drop the word testimony in the chat because their activity actually was what helped me structure this presentation that I am giving today. Then on Memorial Day weekend, May 27th through the 28th, um, 2023, we attended Marketing by Moon Ray's The Lockdown, a two-day sales accelerator challenge. I want everyone to drop lockdown in the chat. We actually were on lockdown for failure to market enough sales to pay our state tax bills, two states in uh, two seat, two two tax seasons in a row. And we spent two days in lockdown in the virtual Kill Crush Maximum Security Prison. And then that leaves us with today. So on June 22nd, 2023, as our time comes to an end, I will leave you with these 2.4 gems. Life is a highway. Success, much like life, is a journey, not a destination. So buckle down and enjoy your ride. This gem was inspired by the animated film Cars, um, studying animation. Um, I love cartoons, and I think it's just a really good way to kind of look at things you get bogged down in you're not getting where you're going fast enough and then you miss out on all the wonderful things that you've done so far next one is find your tribe march to the beat of your own drum and anyone who is meant for you will follow um tried and true download the table x tribe app today by blaze um this is my tribe. This is my home. Literally coming back a year later, just getting up here and being so scared. I couldn't even turn on my camera. And now I'm on this stage speaking in front of all of you today. So yeah, download this app and become part of our family because we literally are a family. And the last one I'll leave you with is knowledge is not power. The execution of knowledge is power because a mind is a beautiful thing to waste. This gem was inspired by a high level conversation episode with 19 Keys and Billy Carson. Um, wonderful podcast about um, excelling financially, business, um, anything business related, um, spiritually too. I say all these things to say, just start your damn businesses because I have procrastinated long enough. I'm not waiting for any validation. I am just been doing the damn thing. And it's just been really wonderful to reflect on all the things that I've done since I started my business here with you today. And, you know, even if people don't acknowledge you, 
sis, just start the damn business because the world needs to hear it. I'm so proud of you, Erica. I, that's I just want to say I'm that. I'm already. I'm so proud of you. Thank so you. proud of you. Um, you know, so many people say, "What if I fail? What if I fail? What if I fail? What if I fail?" And if I look at what's happened with you and I over the last twelve months, it's me without saying these words, but standing beside you to say, "But what if you fly? What if you fly? What if you fly?" Um, and so for you to show your road of bending but not breaking, um, I hope that as you've, as, you've, as you've shown this to us, you sit in the gravity of all that was on the other side of your decision because every single part in your journey, every stop, every gas station, every learning lesson was a decision, a decision. Um, if anyone has anything to say to Erica, definitely hit the hand button. We have a few minutes for this last session after this. Racine, I'm sorry, we're a little few minutes over, but we'll spend about three minutes um, holding this space because, yeah, literally, and, and I'll, I'll watch for the hand, y'all. It's just a hand. I'll bring you on stage. Literally, when I met Erica at a summit, it was on the stage and she was crying, telling me how she was going to give up. Like that, it was no, <laughs> like it was no uh hope in her it was just like yeah like i'm done done like i'm done 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 and so to see what she's done in 365 days is nothing short of brilliant it is nothing short of holy it is nothing short of extraordinary um so i'm so proud of you sis but i'm going to bring up uh the first hand on the stage ahira you have the mic hey erica Sister girl, thank you so much. Honestly, your story and your testimonies resonated with me so much because where you were a year ago is where I was this week. Well, prior to this week, I will say that. Um, I, I was definitely afraid, you know, I was dragging my feet because I just did not know what to expect. I didn't know how well I would be received in my vision, but you know, once again, hearing your story and hearing your journey, it just reignited again and reassured me that what I am doing is my calling. And so from me to you, thank you so much. I know every step that you have taken on this journey was not an easy one, not by any means, but I see you and I hear you. And just thank you so much, sis. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Ahira. Uh, very well. Oh. Um, I'm bringing to the stage, Crystal. Crystal, you have the mic. Thank you, um, hey Erica. Um, just bravo. Honestly, I think I, I appreciate you showing like that the road is not straight, uh, that there are detours, that you will fumble, um, and that you just keep going. Um, I appreciate that the, the variety of what you're doing, even though it stays into the space of who you are and in that art and that creative and that in that um, design space. Uh, and it just, again, and I, I think I mentioned this before with uh, Kathy's session, just I, I really appreciate in this space being able to see the fullness of people, right? Because the, the 24 uh, press, like I saw the, the page, but I'm, I'm like, okay, these are press on nails, but I don't know Erica Hill. And so getting to hear about Erica Hill and all the things that you do, I think every woman in here has so much variety, right? We may have one business that we're talking about in this space, but there's so much more to who we are and what we're doing and the, the big thoughts that we have. So I just wanted to acknowledge that. Uh, thank you for sharing. Thank you for coming up to the stage that first time uh, and being honest and open and vulnerable because it matters. Um, and I hope that, that that feeling or that just ability to just share reaches the people in here who maybe have been listening the whole time. Maybe they're not the ones that are in the chat. Uh, Cause I know my first time I was just, I was a spectator. I was looking around, you know, silently in my own space, but I was like, what is this? Right. And so I just want to acknowledge that it's different for everyone, but everybody has space to grow and just like the path is not straight. So amazing. Amazing. So good job. Keep going. And love you. Thank you so much, Crystal. And we love you, mama. Uh, Auntie Yvonne is coming up and then China. Uh, China will be the last one. Auntie Yvonne, the mic is yours. 
All righty, hold on. I had to serve y'all some face. All right, young lady. Thank you. I am proud of you. Your journey rivals many corporations. They don't know. You got that out the mud. Literally. Started from the bottom, now we here. You did it on your own, and on your own terms. And I'm extremely proud of you for that. Plus your roadmap was like, damn, I'm tired. Cause I mean, she did all of this here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and look at mine. I'm like, I don't remember if I worked that hard but I, I still need to lay it out. Um, wow, you did the damn thing. Thank you. <laughs> And, and that's all I got. I'm proud of you. The village is proud of you. You did the damn thing. Keep doing what you're doing. I say thank you, Auntie Yvonne. Uh, yeah, the village is proud of you, sis. The village is proud. I need you to sit in that. The village. The village. I wouldn't be here without the village, literally. We proud, sis. What are my home? I say. China, uh, you're the last one to hit the mic. It is yours. Hi, Erica. I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I I'm normally in the chat typing. I couldn't I couldn't take my attention from you. Like for once, I was actually just sitting here. Just I couldn't I couldn't type anything. I was just focused on what you were saying. And you're so inspiring. And I just want to thank you you don't know um how much you have just helped me i mean more than you know I, I don't even know how to put it in words how you just helped me and i i just want to thank you so thank you so much erica for everything and i cannot wait to see see you just weeks from now months from now years from now like i i'm follow us on social media <laughs> yes. I, I cannot wait to just follow you and just i'm just thankful so thank you so much Thank you. Thank you, China. Thank you so much. Um, and then I'm going to give you, uh, this isn't a question. Dang, I was, I was definitely about to give her a rep in these questions, y'all. But okay, this is not a question, it's a comment. So you you, you get a pass on answering questions, Erica. Um, Alexis Miller says, very proud of you, Erica. Keep going. Have you considered, oh, this is a question. Come on, Alexis. Have you considered mentoring young mothers in your hometown? You are light. So I'm actually looking to expand into my own company's brand ambassadorship program mm -hmm. soon. I don't know. Everything has just been kind of everywhere. I've just been doing stuff. But I mean, I have been lying. I got the receipts to prove that I'm really going to do it. But that's something that is coming soon. So like I said, follow us on social media to stay in the loop because we got big things coming. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of people selling your stuff. Or come, it's a brilliant idea. Um, I, I just want to say to you, sis, and we got to move. Uh, we come and racing. I want to say to you that that was a blueprint. Like that, what you did was a blueprint. It was bigger than your journey. It was a template, okay? Because you mixed education, you mixed conferences, you mi you mixed showing up as a vendor virtually and digitally you mixed community where you came together for philanthropic causes you came together for regulatory uh social causes you uh did marketing and promoted not just yourself but other people in your community that was a blueprint that was a blueprint instead of even though you had need erica even though you needed resources and i know we talked a lot of times i saw your tears even no though you no yeah. thank you no love. Sorry. I know, right? You definitely wanted people to uh, tag you and to share you and like you. But what you did was you didn't operate out of your scarcity, right? You actually fed your soul, right? You fed other people's soul. So everything you're experiencing, you deserve it. You always did. But I'm happy you're, you're experiencing it in the land of the living, mama. Congratulations on a job well done. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. Thank you, Thank you so much for this opportunity, Casey. You got to give Casey her flowers one more time. <laughs> You deserve it. Brilliant job. I'm so proud of you. I'm so, so, so proud of you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Keep going, okay? Thank you. Bye, guys.
All right, y'all. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, so proud of her from the from the audience to the vendor booth to the stage. Right, super super dope. Um, we are going to end the day, okay, with the money talk. This is from our girl Racine Riker. The financial future is female, and again, like all these other money talks, it is very important that we sit in this stuff. Sometimes money talks are uncomfortable, right? Um, but take these gems and then day two is day four is done okay and we literally are done 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 tomorrow tomorrow i will just tell you so you get your mind right i always do this okay because i know i know at the end it gets a little touchy now uh tomorrow <clears throat> there are only two sessions that's how close we are to the end okay um, we're going to open the day with a sound bath meditation. For those of you who have never experienced that before, it is going to be powerful. A, an amazing, amazing black woman out of Tanzania is going to be giving us a sound bath meditation. We're going to start the morning in grounding. Okay, It will be live sound bath meditation. Um, these are the tools we must have for bending and not breaking. And then after that, we just got two sessions. <laughs> I promise, listen, I know, I see y'all in the chat. Yes, only two, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. And then we're going to go into the uh, the award ceremony. We're going to award uh, deserving businesses. Uh, and we're going to give them a whole lot of press, a whole lot of PR, a whole lot of promotion for a year because they dog going to deserve it. Uh, and we, you know, we ain't worried about other people changing their rules for us, right? We will be the change we want to see. Um, to answer Auntie Yvonne's question, the lounge Listen, we'll keep the lounge open until, let's say, midnight, okay? I think that's fair. Midnight Eastern on um, the 23rd of June, okay? So we'll keep the lounge open until midnight uh, on the 23rd. The booths will be open as well. But after that, it's going to be gone. It will vanish, I promise. I just want y'all to know now it's going to vanish. All you're going to have is replays, okay? Um, but let's go into our last session with the, with the full, a full stomach, a full belly, right? And an open mind. Love y'all super deep. See y'all in the last session. Okay, peace.